Okay, welcome to this uh, introduction to the PHP Gallery Script um, tutorial. In this video series, I'm going to be showing you how to create a dynamic image gallery type thingy. Um, I've used this on quite a few occasions before. It's quite useful. Say if you have like a web server and you just want to share some photos with people, like a holiday or whatever, you can just upload all the photos and this script, and then browse to it, and it'll create all the thumbnails and a nice sort of um, page for them to view the images on without any nonsense like adverts or stupid things that you get with most image hosting, gallery hosting websites. Okay, so um, also you can upload via FTP, which is way easier. Um, anyway, that's completely not the point of this. Um, what this is going to do, oh well, I'll explain. You have, you see here we have a folder with loads and loads and loads of images. Um, basically, it's a wallpaper pack that I downloaded from my phone a bit ago. Um, it's a rather ridiculous noise there. Um, and at the very bottom, we have this gallery.php. Normally, you'd name this index, but I've just called it gallery for this. Um, and what this uh, script will do is it will create a thumbnail for each of these. It will create a folder in the current folder called thumbs, where all the all of the thumbnails are going to be saved. And it will fit the image as best it can into the thumbnail. So say if the image was like really wide, like a widescreen wallpaper, it would fit the height and crop the sides. And for these, because they're taller than they are wide, it will um, fit the width and crop off the top and bottom. Uh, I'll just demonstrate how it works. Uh, so if I go to our browser page, wherever that's gone, here, I see you have the same folder open, loads and loads of images. I just scroll down and load up gallery. You see we get all these images that haven't loaded yet. Um, basically each of these is, a, is um, the source of each of these is a PHP script, so the image is being dy uh, generated dynamically by PHP. And then we're getting it shown up here. Um, if you see it takes quite a while to load, which is why we sort of cache the thumbnails in the thumbs folder. That's quite cool. Um, oh, okay, I just reloaded the page. That was <laughs> very silly. Um, but the ones that have already been generated will be sort of used again from the thumbs folder. Well, they should be anyway. Maybe none of them are done. Anyway, um, yeah, they're all being generated as they are now. Uh, if I just open our folder up and reload it, you see we have this thumbs folder, which contains 139 items. And if you notice, this folder contains 186 items, so they haven't all quite been saved yet. But I can open this up and show you, for example, let's open two images. This one is the thumbnail, and then this one is the full-size version, which annoyingly doesn't have a border. Can I change the background color? Probably. Anyway, um, but yeah, basically what's happened is this image has been sort of shrunk down to 250 pixels wide from 320 and then the height has been scaled so that it doesn't get stretched in any direction and then um, and then the top and bottom have been cropped off just open some others in the browser and I'll explain why what that means okay let's go with this Android guy you see um, he's basically in the middle of this image Andy, I think his name is Andy. Anyway, uh okay, so yeah, that's um he's basically in the middle of the image. If I open the actual image, he's still in the middle, just the bottom and top uh the bits we didn't see. Hmm, okay. Um so basically the image is cropped and kept in the middle. There are no like black borders added. And you could have it do it you could do it like that as well if you prefer to see the whole image as a thumbnail. I think for these thumbnails it makes a bit more sense. I mean, these are too big, really. 200 by 250 is huge for a thumbnail. Okay, so that is basically the script. I'll just demonstrate that if I reload the page now, it takes a while to load, it's quite a long page. All of the images are generated already, so they're just called straight from the thumbs folder. Um, stupid Apple advert there, sorry for. I'm not an Apple person, really, but iPhone, these were for, so you have to have Apple logos apparently. I like the butterfly. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's pretty much how this is going to work. Um, it's quite useful, quite a nice script. Um, oh yeah, there is a sort of more complete version of it on my website that you can get for free uh, at xhcp.co.uk. I'm not advertising, I just thought you might like it. Um,
couple of free scripts you can download there. Uh, so yeah, go and check that out if you want this script just to use or to look and learn from or whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Okay, so um, thank you for watching and join me in the next, in part one, where I will start coding this and show you how to work with files and images, I suppose. There's also a little bit of security involved, like, oh, whoops. Ah, there's also a little bit of security involved, um, sort of to make sure that people aren't trying to access files in the higher level directory. For example, they could do image equals like gallery.php and we just get a load of errors um, so that's something that we're gonna sort of prevent happening we have like an error message saying sorry this is not an image because we don't want this it's terrible um, and also gonna make sure that they're not trying to go up for up directories or anything like that uh, I didn't do this for the example obviously I want to show you these errors um, that we want to prevent so yeah uh, that's it for this part, so join me in part one where we'll start coding.